When a person hears the word cult, famous tragedies like Jonestown and Waco often come to mind. Cultic groups are all around us. Anyone can become involved in a cult. That when I was nine years old, two really nice Jehovah's Witnesses came to the door and started speaking to my mom, who was a Methodist Sunday school teacher at the time. They offered her a free Bible study. She accepted because she really wanted to expand her knowledge of the Bible. The Watchtower organization has over 7 million members worldwide and has been around since the 1800s. For some, it may be surprising to hear this well-known religious organization referred to as a cult. I do remember being exhausted all the time. Cults usually isolate people, but they isolate them by busyness. Then how can Jehovah's Witnesses be the true religion? They require constant works. I really felt trapped. I was fearful. Talk about being twisted up. I was so brainwashed. It's amazing how the locks stay on, on your brain um, for a long time. I had been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. It keeps you a prisoner. Christmas, the torture stick, blood transfusion. How can people interchangeably use the name of Jesus and God? No one at church can explain that because they don't have that as a foundation. And I just wanted someone to learn the Bible with. I didn't know there was good and bad religion, so. I personally don't think my mother would have ever joined them had she had the fine print up front and had she known that she would be expected to never speak to her daughter someday. I didn't have the teaching. I didn't have anyone I... <sighs> that the Jehovah Witnesses were affecting members of my family. My daughter became a Jehovah Witness. I'm a teacher. And uh, I went to my church for help and couldn't find and, uh, it. Churches are being attacked by these witnesses coming door to door. And there's too many Christians that just cannot explain the gospel. They would tell you that they had their own religion. They would just not come to the door at all. But the one thing that people never did is never once doing all the time. And I said I wouldn't cry that we knocked on people's doors. Did anybody try to witness to us, yeah. ever? I think so many of the Protestant churches out there today, if they could be around somebody that's been held captive this long. Because uh, the church knows very little. If they could go, if you could get across what you have come from, and they could see the joy of Jesus Christ in your life. Um, in my own place in the own church I'm in, uh, people feel re very reticent about talking to witnesses. They feel they'll, they'll be outgunned and I can understand how they feel. The, the Jehovah's Witnesses said, there's something we don't understand. We spend all of our time I'm learning how to witness and going from door to door. And he said, when we go to see Christians, Christians won't even talk. I find a lot of people in our local churches really don't even know how to start. They're just told to stay away. When the Jehovah Witnesses came to my door, that really caught up to me because here they are opening up their Bible and showing me all these, you know, articles and all this about how only 144,000 go to heaven and how Jesus died on a stake and there is no hell and oh, by the way, Jesus isn't God. All of these things. And I had no, no fuel. I had no armor, no weapons, nothing. I could not open up my Bible and show them why I believed what I believed. Um, if it wasn't for them challenging me, I would not be as strong in my faith that I am today. And then I was challenged for the first time by Jehovah's Witnesses years ago. And uh, I learned that I couldn't defend my faith. You know, we have ministries for Jehovah's Witnesses. We're going to churches, trying to teach churches and strengthen Christians and trying to convince pastors that there's a field out there. I just would encourage those of you who are capable of reaching one of Jehovah's Witnesses, just one, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, that you take the time to do that. When they come to your door, I have my own religion will never help free them. Amen. If one Christian had given us a witness,